If your friend who was hosting the world gets busy with life or with another game, but you want to continue in the same world, you will want to transfer the world files, and here's how. The friend with the original world has to go to program files, steam, user data, their steam id, the folder 1621690, and remote. I will post the directory in the description down below. Once here, you will see backups, maps, saves, server maps, world infos, and worlds. The file you want is in the worlds folder. Take a note that I only have two files here because I currently have two worlds created. It varies depending on how many worlds you made. The worlds are labeled by numbers and not the name, which can be confusing, but it's simply the position of when the world was created. So in my example, new beginning is 0 and about cheese is 1. Now that you have gotten the file from your friend, you will first need to start the game. Create a new world with any character you want. Then, just save and exit and close the game. Now go to the same directory as earlier and into the worlds folder. You will now notice a new world file has been created. Take note of the number and delete it. For me, it's number 2. Now go to your friend's file and rename the number to the same number of the world file you just created. Then paste it into the worlds folder. And that's it. Start up the game and you should be playing in your friend's world as per normal. You can delete the world file by going to settings, delete progress options, delete worlds menu, and you can see all of the worlds that you have created. Choose the one that you want to delete and then select delete progress. You can back up your saves in the home screen by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and B. The file gets saved onto your desktop. I'm not sure what it is for the controller, but if you do know it, please share with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Core Keeper content, and I'll see you soon.